and I saw this person there with a with a Boston Terrier and like this Boston Terrier's face was like so smushed it was super fat and it was like you know <laughs> what is that noise <laughs> and I was like oh you have a Boston Terrier like how cute and I thought it was gonna be like super old and I was like how old and they were like six months and I was like oh my god I hate to say there are ugly children it was definitely cute but it was like an uglier child so I got really really lucky because she's cute she's super cute and the brindles are the best ones too she's kind of got a little brindle in her yo Every Boston Terrier I've seen, though, straight up is like really smushed face. Like everyone, everyone asks me if she's a teacup Boston Terrier and stuff because I don't know. The vet said she's fully grown, too. I saw the vet recently. She's fully grown. <laughs> it was a fatty that got hit in the face by a door. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yes. She loves her mama. Love your mama. You love your mama. Love your mama. Mama loves you. Oh yeah. You good girl. She's a pretty girl. Yeah. Yeah. You still want to love mama? Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> She's so cute, isn't she? She's the best. Oh, more? More pets? More? Okay. Okay. More? <laughs> okay, more? <laughs> more pets? Oh my god. Am I crazy for saying I'd take no makeup, Adriana, all day? No, you're not. I love that. I absolutely love that. I have nothing on my face. Just literally lotion. But... I've been using creams and stuff um, to take care of like the acne marks that I had. Um, and then I've been taking a lot of magnesium for my under eyes. I cried a little bit because of God Dog today. But I think that my body is finally starting to heal. So like I had my surgery and something something that I noticed is everything gets worse before it gets better. So like all the medication I was on, you know, like while I was in the hospital, my skin didn't look so bad. My hair wasn't falling out. But like three months after my surgery, my hair was falling out like really bad. My skin was breaking out. I was gaining weight. So now that I'm almost on the eighth, eighth month, I feel like more than just my bones are starting to repair. My actual cells in my body are starting to re reproduce without the chemicals of all these products and um pain pills and medications so my cells are actually reproducing better than before right so i think i'm finally starting to get better because let me tell you guys i was going real bald let's see this side this all this hair right here fell out during during my stress so like see how short this shit is like hold on Hey, girlfriend. That's all just started growing back. That all fell out from from all the medications. And there's lots of parts of my hair that are like that. So it's like finally starting to grow and I'm getting better. And I did yoga today. I did yoga today. And my hair looks healthier. My sister lost a lot of hair in college because of stress. Yeah, stress is a fucking killer. Modi, happy early birthday. Happy early 41st, 41st birthday. Will you be doing both Twitch and Kick? I will be doing both Twitch and Kick. I will not be eliminating the hours I'm spending on Twitch. Obviously, for the past three weeks, my Twitch hours are down because I was taking time to just be with my dogs. I was taking time to just put social media around my life and not social my life around social media um but i will also be streaming a good 30 hours on kick so maybe more i'm excited to see what money i'm gonna make on this platform and because it's not heavily done with children on that platform 
I might gamble as well because I am good at gambling. Hair TikTok says rosemary oil diluted. I have rosemary oil, Valerie, but it is giving me really bad eczema on my head. But I maybe I just need a different one. My kick thing is going to be Adriana Chechik. So I'm sure if you search it, I literally just finished everything today. So I'm setting up the account tomorrow, which is really cool. But it, it will be my name, just my no underscore. It's going to be a lot of bikinis. I'm going to be doing a podcast on there called Bitches in Bikinis. <laughs> We're going to be doing a podcast called Bitches in Bikinis. <laughs> Weekly, where I'll have a porn star on in a bikini. <laughs> so I thought it'd be really funny. Uh, oh, thank you so much. You're just so sweet. You're such a sweet girl. Love, love. You know what I like? I like when she slobbers. <laughs> Bikinis are always great. Yeah, I figured it would be, I figured I've been trying to do a podcast for a long time and just the way of the world, like everybody wants viral moments and I'm not purposely trying to do it for viral moments, but everybody wants to hear like girls in the industry or stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Bitches in bikinis will be perfect because all of these men are profiting off of bitches in bikinis. So a bitch in a bikini should pop it off of another one in a bikini. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> she loves me, guys. We're finally connected. You're falling asleep. We're finally connected. We finally bonded. We've officially bonded. Oh, we officially bonded now, huh? Now you're mine. Oh, I don't want to see your cute little face. You can fall asleep. Let's look at your face. <laughs> this chair is like, no boys allowed for bitches in bikini days. No. And you can play music on kick. No way. Really? I, I had to order. Okay, so I, I have the worst luck, guys. So it wasn't the chair. The chair was just missing that piece. So I reached out to them. They're sending me the piece. 